coded with zero degrees of encryption. So if you got any game with the English language, it should be easily understood. It's part Treme, part New Jersey Drive, part Boys in the Hood, part The Wire. This is insomnia-induced enigma, bigger than a Jim Crow rock star with B.B. King and Howling Wolf in the color section and John Lee Hook and Muddy Waters in the back shining shoes and Lil Walter and Sonny Boy Williamson working as attendants in the restroom and the junkies in the alley fixing the nod off to Eddie James and Willie Dixon. Y'all ain't listening. Y'all can't envision. This is the future of hip hop as prophesied by Millie Mel and T-La Rock, provided we had decided to delineate crack music from rap music thus an air ago, before souls became predisposed to imagine themselves as superficial materialistic killers and imagine women as superficial materialistic hoes. <laughs> And alas, it came to pass that ass is willing to trade potential for glamour and provide incentive for record execs to become circumspect and invest in arm and hammer futures, graveyards, ammunition, HMOs, sutures, anything death related to the point that they investigated which DNC equipment providers could be publicly traded, then, then made it popular to become a defendant and took long positions in CCA prison since legalized prison slavery was written into the 13th Amendment. So, so who picked cotton for free? Our enslaved ancestors. Who sews cotton into jeans for free? Their imprisoned descendants. While producer DJ study sound waves in order to modulate 808s to create confusion. This is the Simon and Garfunkel sound of silence mixed to the music of Stevie Wonder's contusions. Not quite an illusion yet alluding to the fact that I have to keep reading because an idle mind will make his idols mine. And self-respect is a vital sign. And figurative sleepwalking is how losers buy their time. And I'd rather be a scholar and a bond be bond. So what you, what you, what you want? What you want? You can predict your future by what you flaunt, what you flaunt. This is self-inflicted contextual meningitis, all transformed through brainstorms and the old haunts of dead Harlem Renaissance writers. I guess I just understand that life is cold blues because strife is old news. It's like I sold jewels to the already initiated, the already bored and satiated in poetry venues while the masses remain emaciated and the struggle continues and spoken word artists are like sweatshop workers with sagacity spindles and our pen moves from right to left as we reach out for the forlorn and bereft and, and after I finish rocking, after I finish rocking, after I finish rocking, your own soul is up next. Mm. Yeah.